Uncle Sam FM here, and we are now moving into October of our first season, and that is going to be a very critical month. I'll pull up the calendar here so that we can, um, so that you can see. We just, uh, this is, that's September, so let's move to October. We just finished the Binghamton game. We're going to have a live comp today with Mercer. That's our first Southern Conference game. And we have pretty much every week, we've got two games until that last week of the season when we end, we wrap up with VMI. But these are our biggest games. Um, our We play our six conference games in the month of October. We also have a big matchup against Loyola Mount, Marymount, which is a non-conference opponent, as we look to try and get to the NCAA tournament. So how have things gone so far? Well, let's look at that. Um, Obviously, it's not too bad. Uh, we had a we hit a, in the middle of the non-conference season. There, we hit kind of a a, a bit of a rut. Um, opened up with a four-zero win over Rhode Island, which you saw in the last episode. We turned around, played Seattle at home, got a nice four-to-two win. We always said this team was going to be a little shaky in the back. We were going to have to outscore opponents, but then. Next couple matches, the defense played really stout, and even though the offense failed to make anything happen, we, we were able to uh, get decent results in uh, nil-nil uh, draws. Then we played NC State, and I'll real quick, we'll look at the stats in this game because we were the better team throughout. NC State is one of the best teams, one of the best programs in the country in college soccer. And really, we outplayed them. 66% possession, which, you know, not does not always tell the whole story. But when you look at shots, shots on target, um, we were even in chances. But we, uh, we felt like we had the better of the run of play. But there were, we gave up a couple of really poor goals. And this one was particularly frustrating to watch. I'll we'll pull this up on the... Uh, the replay so that you can see what happened is just utterly absurd as Rodriguez can't deal with a cross. So the to the goalkeeper and the fullback give up a really stupid goal. Uh, we would get one back and we had a couple of chances near the end, but just could not get the game tying goal to send it to overtime. So we lost, um, but we turned right around two very impressive wins against Kentucky and Indiana who are both much higher profile programs than we are. So those would be what you would call upsets. Um, we surprise results. And then uh, we wrapped up our first, uh, our non-conference season with a one to nothing went over Binghamton. We do still have one non-conference opponent left in Loyola Marymount who is no pushover. They're not one of the, they're about even with us as far as um, you know, how prestigious they are. But they are coming off of a 7-1 to win over Indiana. That is a shocking result. And so we will play them later in the season. But today we begin our Southern Conference or SOCON season. And we play the Mercer Bears. Before we look at the Bears, I thought we would look at uh, kind of how our season is going with our guys. And a couple stats to look at. Um, up front, Zion Jones has two goals. And I don't really have anybody. As you can see, we are spreading the wealth goals-wise. We are one of the top-scoring teams in our non-conference group. But um, there, I don't have anyone just taking the lead as far as goal-scoring goes. Um, Jones has two, and he's been somewhat productive. Uh, coming off the bench, I have Peter Begay. He's got a couple goals. Victor Maldonado has a couple goals. Christian Lucetero with a goal. But as far as my starting 11 goes right now, Zian, Zion Jones is the only one who's producing. Padon does have one goal. Um, Castaneda is really looking like I'm going to bench him. I'm giving him a couple games of the conference season to see how well he does. Um, but as you can tell, he's not really doing He does have one assist, but a 6.60 rating is low. And 82% passing percentage. I may be taking him off uh, for Lucitero coming up soon because Lucitero having slightly more production. He has a goal. He has two assists. Um, he has a higher passing percentage. So even though he gets less time than Castaneda, he is more productive. Um, I'm not going to pull the trigger on that yet, but it is definitely something that I'm looking at. Um, also, go on the good side, Tyler Gordon, one of my recruits, is doing pretty well. Um, you see a 7.02 rating, and that's important because we said all along our weakness is going to be our back four. And 
he's got a he's got a decent um, average rating. Uh, he does win his tackles. Well, he's only had to make one tackle, but uh, he's got 23 interceptions. Um, so he you know, he leads the team in that category. So he has been kind of a standout in the back. Also, obviously, Paul Barron has really been the team MVP as he has um, helped to, first of all, shield that back line. He's done well in defense. But then he, he also has a 91% passing percentage. He's averaging 82 passes a game. Um, obviously playing a very important role. He has two assists. He even has a goal. Uh, he, he scored a long-range free kick that was pretty phenomenal. So he's been our most important player so far this season. As um, the front six have or front five have not exactly played as well as we would have hoped, but he is helping to make sure he's he's transitioning the ball from the back to the front. And so he's obviously kind of been our star for this year. I do need more out of Castaneda, and I need more out of Padone. Padone only has one goal. Um, that has got to be better. So. Um, That'll be something that we kind of look at going forward. Um, now, Mercer, our opponent. Mercer has not had a very good season so far. As you can tell, they have a record of two wins, one draw, and six losses. Uh, they lost. The, they have played a match in the Southern Conference, losing to VMI in a shootout, 4-3. Uh, to three. Not, not a literal shootout, but high-scoring match. Um, they actually had tied it. In, in stoppage time, but VMI got a penalty in the 94th minute and won the match 4-3. to three. So uh, Mercer is coming off of a win over Gonzaga. So that's, uh, you know, they're coming off of a good result, which is got to help, hopefully help for them, hopefully help their morale. But uh, players-wise, we'll look uh, real quick at their at uh, their team. I can't. I my scouting is not good enough yet to where I can see any attributes. But I can see what their general ability is. <clears throat> um, Emiliano Falcon is probably one of their best players. Um, he only has a six point six two rating, so that doesn't really scare me too much. Cantu uh, does have three goals and an assist, so he's a very productive player up front. So he is somebody that we're going to have to worry about because. If they if we can't create anything up front, it really just takes one moment of magic by Cantu for us to f- lose this game. Uh, and they have, do have a decent center back in Agik, although he does not. You know, he's only got a well, he has six point eight rating, which isn't terrible. But uh, he is a player that I suppose that we have to um, try and figure out how to get past. Um, so that is. Brief look at Mercer. Let's just dive right in. We'll play this game, see how it goes. Um, yeah, they for some reason they are favored. Uh, generally speaking, East Tennessee State is a better program, but you know it's that doesn't guarantee win. You don't play matches on paper. So let's see what we can make happen. I would ask them to give the fans something to cheer about. I'm not like a professional at Team Talks. Uh, if you've seen any of my videos in the past, you know I just go for the green. Uh, that looks pretty, so that looks better than red. Tactics-wise, I am going to drop to a more cautious approach, and I'm going to let my guys be more expressive because of that. And let's see how we go. Mercer coming out in kind of a dark gray. We are in the yellow, blue, yellow that is, uh, even though we're away, that is our primary kit combination. And Mercer playing it around in the back. We fully expect them to do that. They obviously are not, they did not put their most fit lineup on the field, but they have Cantu out there and they have Agik. So they are, um, they put their best players, but their best players are not at 100% match fitness. And looks like they've got an attack here, though. That was some nervous times. We got the ball down inside our deep into our area, but here we go on the other end. Castaneda drops it for Chavez, who crosses it in, and Padone heads it into the keeper's hands. Decent chance there, but we've got to make something happen. Ooh, they've got a free kick here. Let's tell them to be to get more creative. Get creative is one of my go-to shouts. 
Yeah, they seem to be playing long balls, and now they've got us into a long ball situation. Now, they've gone cautious, so <clears throat> I'm going to go positive. I'm going to remove that, be more expressive. <clears throat> Gordon switches it out to Castaneda, who takes it into the area, tries to get a little short cross. Jones's header into the heap, goalkeeper's hands. Still scoreless. And Castaneda with a yellow card. I may just sub him off at halftime and give Lusatero a chance. Play a full half. So we're about a half hour in. Still no goal. I'm going to do the get creative thing again. See if we can't make something happen. Here is Jones. Castaneda. Castaneda trying to get himself sent off. Then he lays it off for Chavez, who drops it to Baron to Halleck, whose shot is wide. Halleck is another player that's kind of been a letdown. Uh, he should be one of our one of our most creative players, making things happen. Ooh, Castaneda had a chance to save his spot right there, but his header goes off the bar. So it looks like we're going to go into the half with a nil-nil tie. Bedon attacking the space a little bit. Lira back to Baron. See if we can make something happen right before the half. Halleck back to Lira to Halleck. Shot into the keeper's hands. And we are at halftime. It is nil-nil. Um, controlling things, right? Seven to one shots, 69% possession. Uh, let's see. If you're doing what you're doing, we'll be fine. It did not really do much. So let's tell them that there's much more to go. And I am actually going to sub Lucitero in. Seen enough out of Castaneda. He is just a, just a disappointment. Take his ease off. Tackles off. And here we go. Well, let's see if uh, Lucitero makes me look like a genius. Gordon drops it back to Santangelo, our goalkeeper. Trying to draw him up a little bit. Ooh, and he finds Lucitero, who crosses it into Lira, who shot into the keeper's hands. We're making him, we're forcing the keeper to make save. We put, he's had to make five so far. Zion Jones get a little fatigued. He might be my next sub. Back to Santangelo. We just need one here, guys. I think one is going to do it, actually. Oh, Padone. we got to finish that. You've got to finish that. All right, let's take Jones off, put the gay in. I'm going to leave Baron out there. He's had too great of a season. Normally I would kind of sub him off, but... So this mean, will now mean that I've subbed off the front three. Jones, shot is wide. Okay. I'm going to sub Baron off now. Derek Lee is actually a really good player, so I don't worry too much about the drop-off there. It's going to bring in a whole new midfield. Again, in college soccer, we will go to overtime. Uh, they like to try and get results. And if they go play both sessions of overtime and nobody scores, then it's a draw. But if somebody does score, it's a golden goal situation. So in the U.S., we like to call that sudden death. And Maldonado has the ball taken away from behind. So we get a corner kick. Let's see if we can't make this. Oh, okay. All right, let's. This might be a mistake. First of all, I'm going to do my get creative shout, and then um, I need to go tactics. 
Let me do my chase instructions, see if we can't go get that last goal. Donato cross in the box, but Gay's header is over. Ugh. This is one of those days where you just can't can't find the net. Lee with a free kick. And when we lose the ball, and here comes Mercer on a counter. All right, let's get set up here, guys. Oh, they got a shot. Whoo. All right, we have five minutes of stoppage. Mercer with the corner. They're in no rush. And nothing came of that. I really, I have my second team out there right now, so they're going to go. They're, my second team is going to play the overtime. Let's hope they can make something happen here. I'm still going to chase it. See if we can't get this result. Piper. And their cross is deflected out for, top, for a throw. Come on, guys. All right, this is where I demand more. Ooh, I thought that was going to drop in. Free kick on target, but the keeper made the save. All right, focus my guys up. Now let's see if we can make something happen. Free kick, Lee shot. Looks like that was off the post, I guess. All right, 15 minutes to avoid a tie. Gay drops to Mendez, who was looking for the fullback, but Valenzuela had started to drop back, and there he's offside. Uh, just need one goal, guys. Well, definitely now, because that ends it. All right, here we go. This is it. I, I, I feel it. I feel it. Maldonado, there it is! That's the game, folks. That is the game. Took us 110 minutes, but... Bayesi. Through ball here to Maldonado. Nice finish. And we get our first conference win of the season. Made it a lot more nervous than we needed to. And it is 8.30 here, and my wife sleeps well into past 9 o'clock. So I probably just woke her up, and she'll wonder what in the world is going on. All right, great job, fellas. Whew. That was an exciting result. Um, all right, so. Next game will be Belmont. Probably our next live com, I'll do the VMI match right at the end of the season. But you know what? Let's um, let's just real quick look, take a quick look at the stats. Dominated the match, right? Sixty-one percent possession. Um, let's see, let's where's the chances? And they, you know what? <laughs> they had some chances, and they did right. So we had two clear cut to their one, um, but they had three half to our two. Which I know FM's not perfect with those, but um, they almost they hey credit to them right they bunkered in and they tried to hit me on the counter and they had a couple where they made us nervous <laughs> like four so they only had four shots but they had four clear or half cut chances so credit to them they uh, almost carried out their game plan but we were able to get it done um, yeah I think. Now I know Castaneda just does not have it. Um, probably next match, I'm going to play Belmont in three days. He'll, I'll be starting Lucitero, giving him a, cha a chance. Um, just, hey, give him a shot. See if he can perform better than Castaneda. But this is Uncle Sam. I'm signing off. I'll see you next time.